change that. Well, I would like to welcome everyone. My name is Jack Lazier. I'm the director of the Hall of Pride. What an appropriate place to uh, announce um, the new recipient of the Robert D. Ray Pillar of Character. Um, we had the, <laughs> the great fortune over the last 10 years to interview a lot of outstanding Iowans, and Dan Gable um, is one of them. And, and the bronze about him, or for him, is behind me, and so I just think it's very appropriate, and I would love to um, have you look around after, after you're done and just see everything that we, that we have put together. Iowa is the only state in the United States that's done anything like this, so the Iowa Hall of Pride is, is uh, a great showcase of everything that's good about Iowa. We love to, love to show it off. Um, with that, I would like to introduce Scott Racker, and he's going to carry the program on. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Good morning. I'd like to thank Jack and all of the team here at the Iowa Hall of Pride for allowing us to come. And this is a spectacular facility that showcases with pride all that Iowa stands for, not just in athletic and artistic achievements, but certainly in great character. We're very proud of the partnership and relationship we have with you, Jack, and it's very fitting to be here today. Character Counts in Iowa was formed as a vision of former Governor Robert D. Ray and the Iowa Sesquicentennial Commission with a mission to recognize, enhance, and sustain the positive qualities of Iowans in order to promote civility through character development. The vision of our work is that every Iowan would embrace and practice good character. The foundation of our efforts include a statewide mobilization of the Character Counts framework based on the six pillars of character, trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. Since our inception in 1997, we've trained over 30,000 Iowa educators and community leaders and have engagement in over 1,000 education sites with over 94% of Iowa school-age youth having some connectivity with the six pillars of character. Our work extends from the early childhood environment to the corporate boardroom where we focus on good decision-making and bringing mission, vision, and values to life. Each year in April, we bestow our organization's highest recognition to a deserving Iowan, the Robert D. Ray Pillar of Character Award. The Ray Pillar of Character Award reflects Governor Ray's lifelong commitment to civility and character development. The award was presented to Governor Ray in 2003 and named at that time in his honor for his visionary leadership and inspiration to meet our mission and his exemplary character he's demonstrated his entire life. Previous recipients of the award include Norman Borlaug, Hayden Fry, Dr. Tom Davis, Sean Johnson, Dallas Clark, Coach Ed Thomas posthumously, Aaron Campman, and Fred Hoiberg, each of whom, by the way, is showcased and represented here in the Iowa Hall of Pride. Each of these recipients were selected because of their noteworthy demonstration of good character as a visible role model for all Iowans, and especially Iowa youth. Today, it's my great honor and privilege to introduce and announce the 2014 Robert D. Ray Pillar of Character Award recipient. That's Coach Dan Gable, a living legend from Waterloo, Iowa. During his prep career at Waterloo West, he compiled an unbelievable record, undefeated. He was in 64 prep matches and a three-time state champion at Waterloo West. He went on to Iowa State one of the foremost wrestlers in the history of that institution is a three-time Big 8 champion and a three-time All-American. And he set NCAA records at Iowa State in winning and pin streaks. He had a 182-1 and one record as a prep and collegiate. After college, Coach Gable added titles at the 1971 Pan American Games, the 1972 Lisi Tournament, and the 1971 World Championships. He won an unprecedented six Midlands Open Championships and was that meets outstanding wrestler five times in the 1972 Munich Olympics. He won a gold medal without surrendering a point to any of his opponents. And after that success at all of those other international tournaments, the Soviets came to the Olympics specifically with one goal in mind, to beat Dan Gable, and they were unsuccessful in that pursuit. Following that, Coach Gable joined the Iowa coaching staff in 1972 as assisting head coach and Hall of Famer Gary Kirtlemeyer until taking over the program in 1976. As University of Iowa's all-time winningest wrestling coach from 1977 to 1997, he compiled a career record of 355, 21, and 5. 
He coached 152 All-Americans, 45 national champions, 106 Big Ten champions, and 12 Olympians, including four gold, one silver, and three bronze medals. The Hawkeyes won 25 consecutive Big Ten championships, 21 under Coach Gable as head coach, and four while he was an assistant. He had a winning percentage of 932 and captured nine consecutive NCAA championships. At the time, that equaled the longest streak of national titles won by any school in any sport, and it was held by Yale Golf and Southern California Track. On only five occasions did a Coach Gable team lose more than one duel in a year. Coach Gable went on and coached many United States teams in international freestyle competition, and he was a three-time Olympic head coach. The 1984 Olympic team won seven gold medals. He was named the USA Wrestling Hall of Fame in 1980 and the US Olympic Hall of Fame in 1985, and he was selected as the nation's outstanding wrestler by the AAU uh, as well in 1970 and the Wrestling Federation in 1971. Gable, Coach Gable was the Amateur Wrestling News Man of the Year in 1970. Some of his most recent accolades include being named the top wrestler of the 20th century by Gannett News Service, listed as one of the top coaches in the 20th century by ESPN and named Iowa's top sports figure, Iowa's top sports figure in the past 100 years. In 1996, Coach Gable was named one of the 100 Golden Olympians in honor bestowed on the top 100 U.S. Olympians of all time. He was one of 40 Americans who came together in 1997 to craft the Pursuing Victory with Honor initiative, the national focus on character development and sportsmanship through sports that was done through the Character Counts Coalition. Last year, Governor Branstad noted that when he had signed the proclamation recognizing this week in October as Character Counts Week, that Dan Gable lives the six pillars of character each and every day, and that he's a great inspiration to the youth of our state. And that's when October 25th was identified as Dan Gable Day in Iowa. His most recent engagement, as we well know, was the leading voice to save wrestling as an Olympic sport. And like, not unlike his other endeavors, he was a winner in that as well. His most honored title, I know, having visited with him in his home just recently, is that of husband, father, and grandfather. His life is dedicated to his family and to wrestling. We're pleased to have his wife Kathy with us and look forward to having Jenny, Annie, Molly, and Mackenzie, his four daughters, and their grandchildren with us in April. It's a great joy and pleasure to announce the 2014 Robert D. Ray Pillar of Character Award recipient, Coach Dan Gable. Coach? Thank you. Kind of got to me a little bit there. I have to kind of compose myself. I was okay on those athletic awards. When you start talking about my family and my grandkids, that, that always gets to me. And you, good thing you saved it for the last, but right before I get up here, so come on. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> but actually, I just want to say that it's a, this is a big honor for me <clears throat> to, to be here right now accepting this award uh, for later on. And I just want to say that, uh, you know, for a guy that wrestled at Iowa State and then coached after that at another close institution in this state, and I really don't have that many enemies, so I think that kind of tells me a little bit about my character. I mean, there's a few, but, uh, you know, and obviously, but uh, because of that, you, you kind of um, know that you're doing some good things. I, um, I want to thank... Uh, actually Des Moines, not just for this award, but also for getting really involved in, in the Olympic issue. The Des Moines Register, along with Bryce Miller, and actually uh, Governor Branstad actually kind of led the way initially and was one of the governors that really got the national politics going on our side. So. Des Moines really stepped up to, to help our committees around the world lead to a, to a victory. I, um, I believe that, I don't believe in luck, I just want you to know that. But I believe that, I believe in preparation, all that type of stuff. But I believe it's been lucky 
I've been lucky in my life to have the people that have given me those opportunities to, to succeed. For an example, family that realized the kid was a little, needed some certain qualities that would actually help guide you. For example, when I was really young, I, they enrolled me in the YMCA, and there's a lot of really good values that you associate with the YMCA in Waterloo, Iowa, or across the United States. And then, all of a sudden, some of the teachers and coaches that I have been associated with in my life have really helped keep me formed to that character type of person that, that I might not have been. And then my high school coach, Bob Siddons, who's actually back here in the Hall of Fame right there, is still at the top of the ladder in this state when it comes to the amount of uh, uh, championships and winning. And then my coach at Iowa State, Harold Nichols, national championship coach, my coach, that, that not only my coach, but the coach that recruited me from Iowa State, Gary Kirtlemeyer, is a national champion Iowa guy uh, from Cresco, Iowa, right along with the name you mentioned that was our first Character Council Awards winner, Norman Borlaug, who was a wrestler as well. So, you know, this state has a lot of that type of background, even though we allow some of the other people to get into this uh, <laughs> award. There's been some, you know, great other people as well, football, basketball. So, you know, but this is probably the only second wrestler that uh, has, has gotten this award, and that's, that's pretty impressive. I guess the last thing that I want to say is, this is uh, October, and this award, I believe, is in, Fe is in uh, April. And so that gives me quite a few months, actually, to become closer to this, the capital of the state of Iowa. And right now, you already have some major events that I've been associated with for a long time, the greatest wrestling state tournament in the country. The number one sporting event actually has been labeled as in the state of Iowa. And, and then you also have right now a uh, Grandview has been winning NCAA or NAIA uh, ch national championships. So, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that's, that feels like this state who has over 40 world and Olympic medals in our sport. And we've had several national championship teams at different institutions at different levels. It's a chance for me to actually come in and bring our sport and what it represents along a little further because, as you know, we did fight pretty hard just recently to get back in the Olympics, but we're only right now a provisional sport and not in there forever, which we have been, we were forever until we got kicked out, but we have been voted back in temporarily, but it gives me a chance to actually work with some great people and give, gives me the opportunity to get more people behind us even than ever before. And that was, that's the effort needed to be able to get back in into the core sports for the Olympic Games. And as well, to move into the top five and if I had my choice, you know, we'd be the, the top sport, but it takes a unbelievable amount of work and effort. And because of that, it's, it's, it's coinciding right now with a uh, pretty good time for me in my life because I've been very busy with, with that issue and everybody else goes kind of back to work, work and doing their own job right now. Whereas for me, my job, I'm retired. Retired from the University of Iowa, but I continue to promote the sport of, of wrestling and uh, work hard on my own family to make sure that uh, everybody becomes as becomes productive and has the opportunity to win character awards in the future. So that's kind of where I'm at. And uh, one of my Olympic champions, uh, Eddie Bannix, out here in, in the audience right now, and he did move from Iowa to Iowa State and. Nobody at Iowa really likes that, so just mm -hmm. he did a good job because of his character as well, being able to make that transition. So I think things are working pretty good. It's just that this can be kind of icing on the cake here for me to uh, further uh, enhance uh, 
my sport of wrestling or your sport or Des Moines, Iowa, uh, to make us known throughout the world even greater than we already have. So I'm going to end with, you know, if anybody has any questions, you can ask me, but uh, I appreciate uh, being included within this, with this uh, group of people that have came in before me and hopefully I'll represent it as good, if not better than anybody. So, if anybody has anything, I will turn any it back questions? over. Any questions for the coach? Thank you. Coach, I want to thank you. And, and that list that I read of his accomplishments, which you can see back here, I want you to just think for a minute of the thousands and thousands and thousands of lives that this man has touched and the character impact he has had on those lives. And not just the six pillars of character, we think of the moral character it takes for good relationships, but what defines Coach Gable is his performance character, his determination, his goal setting, his achievement, his overcoming of obstacles, and that he is related to people all across this world. And that's why he is the recipient of the Robert E. Gray Pillar of Character Award. Not because of the list of accomplishments of the winning, it's because of the influence he's had on the lives through that winning. And we're very proud of you, Coach. And we wish you the very best of success, and we'll see you in April, if not before. Hey, thanks. That's what I wanted to say. But, <laughs> but I thought it would come better from him a little bit. You know what? Be too cocky, you know. <laughs>